Hey guys, welcome to another geometry lesson. Uh, we're now in lesson two, so let me just change that. Geometry lesson two. And uh, we're still talking about uh, the sum of angles inside a polygon, but this time, uh, instead of just doing triangles, we're gonna uh, step it up a notch and talk about quadrilaterals. So a quadrilateral is a polygon uh, made up of four straight lines and if I just show you a quadrilateral in uh, GeoGebra so what I have is let's use a polygon tool and draw four dots anywhere on the screen and link it up to your first dot and here we have a quadrilateral and what I want you to do is use the angle tool and draw the angles for um, each of the corners uh, make sure you link them up uh, in a uh, clockwise fashion so you can see I um, clicked the wrong order just then it put up a um, external angle so I want the internal angle so going clockwise I'll create, press this line first and then this line um, this line first and then this line so I have four internal angles of the quadrilateral and what you're gonna discover is no matter how you move these dots to create different shapes for your quadrilateral all of these angles will add up to 360 degrees so that gives us the rule that angles in the quadrilateral quadrilateral bracket four-sided polygon uh, sum up to 360 degrees alright so uh, in a test situation what you could have is uh, three angles so uh, for example let's say I didn't know what angle B was so let me delete that delete one of the angles um, I'll just drag these things inside okay so I'll copy this shape into my um, into my uh, smooth draw app so angles in the quadrilateral sum up to 360 degrees and let's say I have this shape here and I have an unknown angle called X and the question says find the size of angle X so using this rule, angles in the quadrilateral sum up to 360 degrees. Uh, we're gonna use the use that formula and say x plus 72.99 plus 78.62 plus 73.29 equals 360 degrees. So therefore x must be equal to 360 minus 72.99 minus 78.62 minus 73.29 and putting all that in the calculator so I have 360 minus uh, 72.99 minus 78.62 minus 73.29 and I get 
135.1 degrees. 135.1 degrees. So that looks like how big x is equal to. So we have just found the answer of this question. Okay, so you might ask, well, why is it that um, angles in a triangle add up to 180, but when we increase the number of sides by one to draw a four-sided shape, um, we get uh, the suddenly the angle sum increases to 360 degrees. So why did it suddenly jump up by 180? Well, let's have a look at it in GeoGebra what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these angles first so I'm just going to delete them from the objects menu so I have a quadrilateral and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the line tool here and I'm going to create a new line um, by choosing the second uh, line button that says segment between two points and I'm just going to link up two of these points so that I separate this shape into half. So now what I have is a quadrilateral but what you can see is that in actual fact a quadrilateral is made up of two triangles and now when I create the angles um, you can see that oops um, when I create the angles you can see that within each triangle um, inside the quadrilateral hang on a second I'm just drawing the angles out last one here um, let me just separate the labels so this shows you pretty clearly that a quadrilateral is still made up of two triangles and within each triangle the angle sum still add up to 180 so what I mean is, for example, in the bottom right hand triangle, this shape here, we have 51.17 plus 104.21 plus 24.62, they add up to 180. And for the top triangle here, this top left triangle, we have 32.18 plus 112.73 plus 35.09 and they add up to 180 degrees. So the reason why in a quadrilateral we have angles add up to 360 is because a quadrilateral is made up of two triangles. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you again next time.